So the Safari internet browser is one of the most, I guess, powerful browsers you can use on your iPhone. It's the one that's built in, and I want to go ahead and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it. If you're not familiar with it, it's very, very basic. This is what the application looks like, and there's a few different components of it. There's the Safari browser, and there's the settings app portion of that Safari browser as well. So within the browser itself, once you go ahead and open it up, you'll see a few things. You probably won't see any of these pages. You'll probably just see an empty page like this. So what you want to do is this page is basically your you know, home page. It's just like a place that has all your favorites and bookmarks and some other iCloud tabs and suggestions. So you can go through and you can modify this in any way that you want to. You can add your favorites here if you want to. We'll talk about that in a second. At the very bottom, you'll have your browser search bar. So what you can do is you can tap right into here and you can type in a name of a website. So if you want to, if you want to type in apple.com, you can go and type in apple.com or what you can do is you can also just type in searches that you want to. So if you want to type in like Apple store, so if you want to type in something like, you know, within your Safari browser, you can also just search for Google things right here and you can just, you know, search whatever you want to and it'll take you right into google.com and they can search for things there for you. Now, beyond that, you have three different or four different toggles at the bottom. So you have the back and you know forward buttons. If you want to go to the previous page or the next page, you can just go click there, click there if you want to go back and forward. If you ever want to share things out, like if you want to share this web page or if you want to add a favorites or bookmarks, you can click on the share button right here. That's going to bring in this share page. And here what you can do is you can add particular websites to your bookmarks, you can add them to your favorites, add them to your quick notes, and even add to home screen if you want to. So you have that type of capability. And then you have your tab button. What this tab button allows you to do is it allows you to see all the tabs that you currently have inside of your internet browser. So if you want, you can even go through and you know see all your tabs this way. You can add a new tab by clicking this plus button here. Or if you're in a web browser, if you're in a page here, you can swipe this to the side to add a new tab. You can swipe in between the tabs that you have here, which is genuinely a very, very cool thing to have. Clicking back on this tab bar right here, you can also go ahead and click on the private option here if you want to go into private browsing. What this does is that basically it allows your browser to basically just be a you know private browser. So whatever you search here, whatever, it's not going to go and be enabled. So it's not going to save it, but keep in mind it's still going to be saved on your phone one way or another, so don't do anything crazy. But for normal searches, that stuff will just be you know hidden, which is really nice. You can go back into your normal tab here. And when you're in a web page, let's say we're into Google. You can always go through and get access to some other things within your Safari browser too by clicking on this little square button right here. So you zap here, you'll see a few things. You can now have highlights on, which is now an iOS 18 exclusive feature. So it'll tell you basically Safari intelligently displays and summarizes previews and so many other things. So you can turn that on if you want to, but in this case we won't. You can increase or decrease the text size right within Safari now within iOS 18, which is really, really cool. It's a really handy feature. And you can click on this three dots right here if you want to get access to a few more things within Safari. So for one, you can see your privacy report. You can hide the toolbar at the bottom if you want full screen browsing. You can request the desktop website if that's something important to you. These things are cool things too. If you want to pin a tab or if you want to add a favorites, you have that type of capability. And then you can also request your desktop website, your camera microphone and location there as well. So that right there's some really, really cool stuff too. Clicking back out, that's kind of the main stuff within Safari. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do here. There's a lot of capability. There's a lot of quality here as well. But there's a lot of endless things you can kind of do within Safari. So that is kind of how to use this. If you ever want to edit this particular page, you can click on the edit button down here. And you can go through and kind of change whatever you want to, your recently closed tabs, if you want to use the start page and all devices. If you want to do whatever you want to, you can edit that here. But that is basically at the core how to use your Safari browser application. Now there's another thing. Inside of your settings app, there's another component of Safari. So go inside of settings, you want to scroll down until you see apps, and then you want to scroll down again until you find Safari. So find Safari right here, and within this particular tab, there's a lot of stuff you can edit. So you can go and customize a lot of things here, and I'd recommend just going through and just you know going through and customizing this because there's a lot of things you can do. So one, you can allow you know Safari to access Siri and search, which you can. Default browser app you can change. In this case, we'll just keep it to Siri. You can change your search engine to something else. In this case, I'll keep it to Google, but you can change it to whatever option you want to here, which is really cool. You have all these options here too, which you can go and kind of customize here, which makes your experience a little bit nicer. 
You can turn on your autofill. You can block pop-ups if you want to, which in this case I'm keeping them on. You can landscape, you know, landscape tap bar or you know, allow website tinting. So you can have the tap bar at the bottom, or you can do a single tab at the very top. Me personally, I like the bottom one, but the top one is nice too. You can create different profiles within your internet browser. In this case, I don't do it, but that is another thing you have the capability of doing. And you have this type of capability here too, which you can hide your IP address and share across devices and so many other things across the board here too. So that's essentially how it works. That is kind of how to use your Safari browser on your iPhone or your iPad. It's pretty much the same thing. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.